welcome back everyone been a few comments here and there about shadows and the casting shadows I'm pointing out I, I mean I really like it when people say that they're nothing because that just means that their brain is dismissing the fact that it's something otherwise why would there be a shadow there right All right, just like on all these paintings and computer uh, generated images I make, you can see all the crescent illuminated, you know, planets and whatnot. See how everything's illuminated on one side mostly. That's all I'm pointing out in the sky. Like right here. I mean, these are taken out in my backyard. You can't tell me you don't see those two big dark spots up there or that big dark spot in the middle or the lights going around or the fact that the sun isn't illuminating anything past that. I mean, do I even need to point that out? I mean, these shadows and casting shadows aren't see those two dark areas <laughs> not illuminating great big area not illuminating the light just being cut off in the middle of the sky right next to the sun I mean these aren't just shadows all the time Sometimes you can actually see the crescent illuminating planets. Sometimes you can actually see where the light's bending down and coming all the way along the side and underneath. It won't even illuminate the sky. Or the light spreads out real wide while it's coming up underneath something else. Or like that great big cast shadow. Side illuminating planet after the sunset. I mean, you gotta wonder, you know, why, why are all these crescent illuminating areas of the sky always have dark sides? I mean, those aren't dark clouds way up in the atmosphere. Dark clouds hang out at the bottom. Those are shadows. See how the sun's above and that area is dark? See how that area on the right is dark? That's a casting shadow. That's a facially illuminated planet. And if you can't see that, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, that's a planet with two moons at least. And I'll point this one out. I mean, that one's pretty obvious, though. Pretty round, blocking light pretty round blocking light I mean these shadows just don't come from nowhere and then you know the fact that they're round <laughs> as the Sun passes behind them while they block light can't tell me that's a cloud blocking the light there's nothing there What made that shadow? <laughs> you know? What made this great big huge casting shadow as the sun's light doesn't illuminate the sky? Of course there's light underneath. And still nothing's illuminated over there. I mean look at the light on that one. It's coming down and underneath without even illuminating anything. <laughs> that one's, I don't even know how, how people don't see that one. That's so obvious. Blue round sky cutting off the sun. <laughs> Here's some more blue round sky cutting off the sun. Forcing the light down and under. Here's another round part of the blue sky cutting into the sun. 
casting shadow behind it. Here's some clear blue sky. Double eclipse. Sunlight coming out from above and below. From behind the two. Here's an area of sky that wasn't getting any light. Right next to the sun. Or what do you call that? Right next to the sun, cutting into it widely. Sure ain't blue sky. What do you think that is in the background? What do you think that is? Big round dark area. Blocking light. Hey, there's a really big crescent. Can't miss that one. See how it's crescent illuminated on the side and black on the back? There's another one. See how everything behind it's dark? See how the back side of that one is round and sh sh shadowed like a ball? How about that one up there on the left? That shaded area of the sky. But what about that shaded area part of the sky right next to the sun? I got the sun out of the picture so it wouldn't cause any glare or flare, but as you can see, even with my thumb over it, there's still a dark area right there. Great big round dark area on top there, too. And there's some more oddball sky with dark side. Shaded parts of the sky. Some more shaded parts of the sky. Some oddball casting shadows. And look at that big shadow all the way across the sky. Notice how the light's going along the edge of it. And you see the round planet in this one. It's side illuminated with the back side of dark. And what do you see right here? Big cast shadow. Great big planet. Planet cast shadow. Sun goes down, shadow gets smaller. Side illuminated. Backside dark. Casting a shadow. Look at that one. It's a red ball in the sky. <laughs> Also, there's a big shadow here, here. Sun is behind the planet. Sun is behind the planet. Unless you've ever seen one of those before. Now, what about that one? Do I even need to point it out? What do you think caused that big shadow? What do you think is causing that big shadow? Cutting out the sun. What about that pinch? See how it's pinching? Two dark sides squashing the light. And that one's pretty obvious as well. I mean, it's hard to tell sometimes because there's so much light in the sky, but right now while the sun is behind shit, we can see that <laughs> all the upper atmospheres, we can also see how the sun is not illuminating the sky right there. Big round shaded areas blocking out light. See, those are shaded areas for big round shadows. Not necessarily the planet itself all the time, but definitely the casting shadow from it. And that one is pretty obvious. I mean, look at it. <laughs> look at that one. The sun comes up way off the side there. And that one's pretty obvious. Just some stringy clouds and a round object cutting off the sun. I mean, can everybody see the round big shadow in the sky? How about that round shadow in the sky? Anybody see that one? How about those? See how the sun is going around 
bending around. See, I, I, do I even need to point that out? I shouldn't. Sun is up and it's dark in the sky. Yeah. And on the left hand side, shaded sky. Great big dark shadow in the middle of the sky. Great big dark shadow above the sun. Another big shadow. Two more big shadows. Great big whopping shadow. As the sun was behind that, you see the dark area. And that's pretty obvious. You see the rays cutting off to the side of it. And you see the great big dark sides, side illuminated towards the sun. The light's coming around, but not completely. Great big shadow over there. And these are all pretty obvious. I mean, they're huge shadows. Areas the sky is not illuminating with sunlight with the sun right next to it. I mean, you can see the clouds and then you can see this big dark circle back there. I mean, isn't that easy to see? I mean, how, how about that one? That one's pretty obvious. Light bending around it. Side illuminating. That one up there, sun just went behind it. See the big dark circle? How about that big dark area? Blocking, blue sky blocking the light. Sun is behind the blue sky. <laughs> How about that big dark area next to the sun? Not getting any light. Or those two big round areas right next to the sun? Shading the sky. How about that eclipse? That big round blue area of sky where the light is coming out from behind. Or how about a light side and a dark side? How about two dark sides? Round areas in the sky blocking light for no reason. How about that great big thing, side illuminating, great big dark area, being the dark side of course. And we can see there's great big shadows in that sky. And we can see there's great big shadows in that sky. Do I even need to point out the great big round area next to the sun that's not illuminated? How about the big side of the planet there that is illuminated with the side that's facing us that's all dark? How about those two big shadows in the sky? Can you see those? Those aren't from nothing. See the shaded area on the left? Pretty easy. How about the shaded area on the left there as the sun is covered up by this by the clouds momentarily? How about that big dark shadow over there? How about the sun being cut off by the sky? As the sun bends around the side of it there with no illumination to the right. I don't think I need to point out the big dark area in the middle of the, of the picture there. How about this one, you know, with the sun's up and there's lots of side illumination, no, you know, sky being illuminated. How about that shadow in the middle of the sky? What do you suppose that one's from? 
All right, the sun's come up and it's now going down. And remember that big blue area of sky that's not illuminating. Hey, look, some more non illuminated area. See how the sunlight is going all the way around on the left and up and over around that blue area of sky? How about that big dark area of sky on the left? That's a big shadow. Otherwise, it would be the same on both sides. What about that big round ball on the bottom left of the sun there? Everybody see that? Everybody can see the sun coming up from uh, the bottom of, of that big shadow. <laughs> I don't think I need to point out anything there. Those are great big blue round areas in the sky that are as the sun behind it. <laughs> and some really dark blue area over there on the left. See all these casted shadows are coming from something. And it's not the clouds. And they're not clouds. I mean, look at that. The sun is coming down behind something that's casting great big shadows. There's some more casting of shadows. See how the sun is coming up and around something? On this, this, like the side of something? And there's the sunlight going all the way down and under that whole dark blue area of sky. And some more shaded parts of the sky. Great big left over there. Right here. All this is not illuminating. This whole side is not illuminating. Light is bending around and pinching through over on that one. Great big shadow over here. And that one's pretty obvious, I think. That's one of the better pictures. And there's the sun area. And you can see all this is not illuminated whatsoever. All of this is not illuminated. The light's just going down and under. Another picture of the same thing, not illuminated. <laughs> if anything, those should be illuminated. Look at this dark area on, on the side of the sun. <laughs> Huge dark area. And look at the shadows that cross the entire sky, all the blue sky part and all. Sh shaded clouds. Sunlight being forced along the horizon underneath something much bigger. And look at this great big shadow. See that? All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching.